how to calculate money market fund interest. Wow, some of you are telling me, hey Joseph, I don't understand how these money market funds usually calculate their interest. I am an investor. I'm wondering, hey, why am I getting 33 shillings, 40 shillings, 10, 2 shillings? How are they calculating this? Please, would you mind to make a video explaining or showing us step by step how do they calculate this interest so that when I'm investing, I'm able to project and tell approximately how much I'm going to get out of the cash that I'm going to invest. Your wish is my command. I'm making that video right now. By the way, this is why I always encourage you. Please, if you have a question, put it on the comment section. Ask a question. I will try the best as I can to make a video out of it so that we, all of us, can actually benefit out of it. And if you're watching me for the first time, hey, listen, there's something we do here. We subscribe. We like the video. And guess what? We usually try the best as we can. If you need my services on investments or my booklets, this happens to be my number. You can grab it, shoot me a text on my WhatsApp. I repeat, text me on WhatsApp and you can get my services. Are we together? The good thing is that they're affordable. All right, let's get on the business now. Here we are. Now, listen, to calculate the money market fund interest, this is how it goes. And I'm going to use a case scenario or a simple example. You get the concept, then you use the money that you're going to apply there. Let's use case scenario of 100K. Are we together? You invest 100,000 in a money market fund, and that money market fund is giving you an interest of, say, 12%. Are we together? Per annum. By the way, most of the money market fund right now are giving you a way less percentage, less than 10%, but we have some are giving you at 12%. You should be there if you ask me. Which one is the example? Ethical money market fund. And you're there, you're like, okay, how can I join that ethical money market fund? Very simple. On the comment section of this video, I have left a link there. Click that link, you can open a money market fund. Whether you're within the country with, or outside or whatever, it is very simple. Or any other MMF that you want. It's your choice. Now, let's say you get 12% on money market fund per year. Whenever they say per year, or per annum is per year, or whenever they give you a percentage, is usually quoted per annum, not per day. Are we together? Now, what happens, this is how they calculate. 12%, obviously what you do, it is 12 divided by 100. Because out of the 100, you're only getting 12% of it. If you were getting everything, you could be 100 over 100, then this could have been left like that. But now, you're getting only 12% of out of the 100. So it is 12 divided by 100, so that you can now do what? Find out what percentage you're getting. Are we together? So if you take 12 divided by 100, how much is that? Is it 0 0.12? Or is it point? Come on, hang on a second. Sometimes we need to clarify these things, okay? So we take 12 divided by, not multiply rather, but divided by, yes, it is 0 0.12. Are we together? So this figure that you get here of 0 0.12 is what you're getting at the end of the year of your money. So what does it mean when we say it's 12% per year? It simply means if you take this 100,000, invest it in a money market fund for the whole year, without you removing even a coin, for the whole year, also assuming that the percentage here 12 does not change, it remains constant the whole year, meaning your 100,000 remains 100,000 and the 12% remains 12% the whole year. By the end of the year, you will have 12% of this, which means you will have 0 0.12. Where did I get 0 0.12? It's 12 divided by 100 multiplied by 100,000. Are we together? What, what, what figure are you getting out of that? Okay, so you get 0 0.12, multiply that figure by 100,000. Oops, sorry, sorry. 100,000. So if you multiply that, you're going to get yourself a what? A 12,000. You're going to get 12,000. Are you together? Now, that is by the end of the year. We want to know where are these 20 shillings, 30 shillings, 100 shillings, 200 shillings coming from every day that I'm seeing it in increment. So this is what you're going to get at the end of the year. So a simple question I'm going to ask you, how many days are there in a year? 365 days, okay? 
don't bring the complication of, oh, there is a leap year. There are people who are so dramatic. So we have the 165 days per year. So you, you want to know how much are you getting per day. So you take this 12,000 divided by 365 days per year, you find out how much are you getting there. So it is 12,000 divided by 365. So you are getting 32.8 shillings. So you are getting 32.8. Approximately, you are getting 33 shillings. Every day, if you invest 100,000 in a money market fund that is giving you 12%. But there's something that I want you to know. Remember, you have to pay tax. Are you together? Yes. So what happens here? This is what you're getting every day. Before even this money is credited in your account, tax deduction must apply. And we all know. And if you didn't know, then is the time to know. Which means that in Kenya, if you invest in a money market fund, you have to pay a tax of 15% on any or every interest that you get on a money market fund. So you have to pay a tax of 15% on the interest. So this 33 shillings that we are getting, it is tax free. We call it pre-tax, meaning before tax deductions are implied. So therefore, it means, in other words, that, excuse me, this 33 shillings that you're getting, it is an equivalent of 100%. But now, once we deduct the 15%, we ought to be left with what? 85%. So therefore, in a long mathematics, you do like this. 33 shillings is equivalent to 100% when the taxes is not deducted. What about 85%? Why 85%? Because we have already removed uh, the government tax, which is 15%. So if... 100% we get 33. So how about 85%? So it simply means you cross multiply. So what does you get? 33 multiplied by 85 divided by 100. So that you know how much is 85%. So let's go ahead, grab our calculator. Are you having yours? All right, let's go ahead and do this. So it is 33 multiplied by 85. That's what we get. You divide that by 100 gives you 28 shillings. Are we together? So, 28 shillings. Let me put, it's good to give a respect to our money currency called shilling. If you're watching this from Ethiopia, I know you as you call them beer. If you watch from Zambia, is it kwacha or pula, rand, naila? Are we together? So, 28, that's what you get. In other words, it simply means government will carry or will take five shillings. So, it is simply take 33 minus five shillings you're going to get the what? You can decide to find the 85% of 33, or you can decide to find the 15% of 33, then you subtract. Either way, it will lead you to this. Now, what does this mean? It means once you take your 100,000, invest in a money market fund, where you are getting 12% per annum, you are likely to get 28 shilling increment every day on your money market fund. So the 28 today, the 28 today, da 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 continuously. Now, at what frequency do they this do that do this money usually compound? That's a very brilliant question. Are we learning something, students? Yes, we are. Okay. Now, what happens? Like, okay, simple. Now we know it's 28 shillings per day. So how many days are there in a month? 30, approximately. So you take 30. So that we see how much we're gonna get. At the end of the month. So that 28 multiplied by 30, that's around 841 shilling at the end of the month. So 841 shilling at the end of the month. Now, guess what happens now on the second month? Now, it, this is what you'll get, 841 shilling. Now, it will be 841 plus the principal that you had of 100K. That will be 100K and, so it will be 10841. Now, the second month, this whole money, the 100K that you had plus 841, will be treated as a principal. Therefore, it will be 12. Assuming now that 12% remains constant, 12% divided by 100, which is 0.12, multiplied by this figure. We see how much that will be. So it is 841 plus 100,000. Are we together? Now that figure multiplied by 0.12. 
that figure of 128041 now divide this figure by 365 no, not that one 365 days we're gonna get 35 then there is an increment of two shillings on top then we deducted the five percent of this which is approximately 15 uh, five shillings then we are left with two increments so that means the next month we will get around you see the, the first month we got 28 this month will get 30 shilling every day 30 shilling every day probably the next one will gonna get 30 so let's say two let's say we get 33 here the other one you get 35 so that is compound interest compound interest compound interest keep on increasing keep on increasing but obviously when you deduct this money i know somebody of you be like ah i thought i'm gonna be wealthy with this thing that's why i say it you're supposed to understand the nitty gritties of investments some of you may say ah that is too small indeed it's too too small from what because 28 is far from zero isn't it and again if you take this hundred thousand and put it in a bank how much would you gain? Zero. Actually, the bank will use this money to invest and get these coins that you yourself are despising. And once they get these 28 shillings, they won't share with you. That's the difference. And by the way, did you know what? Your money is still losing value because of the inflation. There is a bug called inflation. is eating your money. So you're losing it too. The bank is making money out of your money. <laughs> They're not sharing with you. Uh -huh. Number two, the bank, also this money is losing value out of your bank and you're getting nothing mm. so at the end of the day investing there is the best option isn't it so be smart this is good joseph try i hope i've tried the best i can to you know explain to you how to invest in these things and how to calculate now when you're investing you already know so if you put a mil i know some i know somebody will tell me on the comment section okay i understand now put a million one how much do i get nah come on if someone teaches you two lemons plus two lemons is four do i need to tell you two oranges plus two oranges is four we are not teaching about oranges we are teaching about concept yeah i can see you're laughing now <laughs> absolutely it's funny right so get the concept then substitute your money with my money that I used here. For example, if you put a million here, then of course you can find out. If you put 10 million here, you can put it up. If you have 50,000, if you have 10,000, take the formula, take the concept. Don't cram. Understand. Then prorate, calculate, and you will see how much you will have when it comes to the calculation of this money market fund. If you'd like us to have a conversation behind the tent, that's what we call, we say in Kenya, behind the tent privately that is my number you can shoot me a text on my whatsapp and we can have business for now it's a good bye and see you in the next by the guys i love you very much i love you guys you always come here to watch my videos i'm so delighted may god bless you see you the next time